It took a global pandemic for Uncle Sam to cough up stimulus checks to help ease the burden on American families. Now there's talk on Capitol Hill of payments from the federal government to American families to help ease the pain at the pump. Yes, gas prices have soared so high that three congresspersons, representatives Mike Thompson of California, John Larson of Connecticut, and Lauren Underwood of Illinois have proposed the Gas Rebate Act, which would send as much as 300 bucks a month to families with at least two children as long as the national average for gas remains above $4 a gallon. But now we have to wait for the bill to be introduced, go to committee, debated, voted on, referred to the Senate, you know, it goes on and on, uh, and it'll take a lot of time. But in the meantime, Chicago entrepreneur Willie Wilson is taking charge. Tomorrow morning, thousands of cars around Chicago will get in line for $50 worth of gas, and Willie is picking up the bill for, for all of them until he spends a million bucks. So move over, Hans and Franz, entrepreneur Willie Wilson is here to pump you up and Willie joins us now. I mean, I was following this so closely um, last week when you gave away $200,000 in gas. Now you're, you're taking it to a million dollars. Willie, you, you do realize um, that you're a million dollars richer now than you'll be this time tomorrow night, right? Well, I, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, I believe so. I believe so. Tomorrow night I'll be less than one million, you know? I, listen, I admire what you're doing because people are, are feeling it right now. Uh, people are having a rough time. Uh, and I saw the lines last week when you did the 200,000. How did you get mm -hmm. this idea? Well, they said people are asking me for money to get to work or to take the kid to a daycare center. Uh, I didn't pay much attention to it at that particular time. But one day I went to the service station. It took me about 50 to six or seventy five dollars to fill up my tank. And it went two or three days later, it took about hundred and fifty dollars to fill up my tank. And that was a shocker to me. Then I thought about the people that had been asking me to give them some dollars. So I said, well you know what, I need to do something versus just talk and about high gas prices. And so we always been helping. So we just came up and a couple of days we had did it. Less than two days we uh, did the uh, two hundred thousand dollars. Uh, and then tomorrow we're doing, of course, the uh, $1 million. I felt a little bad about it because $200,000 when I got there, I said it just was not enough because some people didn't get a chance to get gas. And I had, a, you know, some money laying around that I didn't have to invest. And so I said it would be better to invest this into the people themselves to help them get their work and, and kind of like save some of their livelihood. And so so that's, that's how that and whole that thing came about. You say the money's laying around. I want to point out, and this is what I love about you, Willie, that you are self-made. People don't, who don't know your story, you were literally flipping burgers at McDonald's, worked your way up to become a manager, bought a couple of franchises, and now you're a very rich man. I'm curious, I mean, do you actually go around to all of these gas stations and give them the money up front? How does it actually work behind the scenes? Well, no, what we do, we call in all the gas station owners, and we write a check out to them and we give it to them that way. Like tomorrow, when everything is over with tomorrow, around about 10:30, 11 o'clock, uh, we have all the people participated, active 48 now. So they'll come and then we'll give them check tomorrow around about 10, 11 o'clock. Um, and that's what we'll do. And they'll give us a receipt to show that they pumped that amount of uh, gasoline. And I know, Willie, no good deed goes unpunished, and there were some people frustrated last week. I mean, there is a bit of gridlock in the city when you do this, and that was just 200,000. Um, I mean, surely you're, I mean, there's going to be a lot of traffic tomorrow. There's going to be some frustrated people over all this. Well, I, look, we're working with the Chicago Police Department, Cook County Pol uh, Police as well. Uh, here, here's how I look at this whole thing. When people go to a football game, the trap is there. Nobody says anything. People go to Grand Park in Chicago, hundreds of thousands of people. They're drinking and on all kind of stuff. Nobody says nothing. Hold up, trap it. A Bulls game, basketball game. Nobody says nothing. This is something that we're doing here to help people, you know, to get to work and save their livelihood. So those people who complain, uh, I don't, I can't yet figure that out. Why would you complain? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm helping. And listen, Chicago Willie, is, 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 I hear is you. my home. 
you know, so I'm going to have And I think you're the man, now. Willie. Listen, I think you're the man. I'll be watching closely tomorrow uh, when all this goes down. Thank you so much for joining us tonight, Willie. Thank, thank you. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.